Hi guys, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Subaraju. We will see another video session on Unix some more commands. That is first I am starting with touch. Touch is a command which is going to create empty files. Means we can able to create multiple empty files. Touch syntax is touch options file name. Right, we will see the first one file 1, file 2, file 3 and enter and it is creating 3 empty files. So, 3 file 1, file 2, file 3. Now, separately create a directory then you can create files that is better visibility is there. If you create with all combination of directories specially it is available file 1, file 2, file 3. As I said earlier dark blue represents the directories black or white represents normal files. We will create the separate directory the same function. Go to cd Nares technologies already directory available in front of you. This is directory press enter and clear press ls no file existed. Same previously whatever the command I ran same command once again I am running ls you can press 3 empty files created really these are empty or not you want to monitor file asterisk displaying file 1 empty, file 2 empty, file 3 empty. Right, you want to append this file then you can use cat append operator then file 1 or file 2 or file 3 just append that enter I am appending I am appending you file 1 text file right press enter control D as I said control D means save and exit and you can say now file asterisk. Now these two are empty this is ASCII text. ASCII means it contains alphabets, numbers and special characters is nothing but ASCII formatted text. Not only creation of empty files by using touch command we can do several things. For example, touch touch iPhone A we can display access time last access time and m modification time and we can assign new date and time by using iphone d iphone c no create if you want to view these options come we'll go with our man command man touch and we'll observe one by one what it is doing so already change file timestamp available but i said multiple empty files both are correct Time stamp means hours, minutes, seconds, milliseconds. Come down that one. And I made here already clearly iPhone A change only the access time. iPhone C no create. iPhone D date. iPhone H no difference. Come down iPhone M modification time. One by one we can try to view all these options. LS iPhone L observe. 3 files I created and 1235, 1234, 1234. So, these 3 files it is showing with that one. Actually, both all are 1234 only according to my system time. But why that is a 1235 means I modified. Cat using I modified that one. Now, I am doing touch iPhone A file 1. Observe now what it is providing information. It is not giving anything because last access time is not there here and you can try to observe class touch and you can say iPhone M modification time it is going to provide to you. So, LS iPhone L and modification time 1237 again I pressed touch iPhone M. So, touch iPhone M displaying modification time, A displaying access time. Again, you can run touch iPhone A and LS iPhone L and 1237 is coming because modification time already I press it according to my system time 1237. No, I want to change last access time of this file. Then we will use a touch iPhone D single quotation start first date next month, next year, next year and next if you need time, time also you can provide here. I want 20 colon, I am providing 32 minutes. Single quotation close, provide the file name, enter. Yes, completed. 
now i am coming to ls iphone l observe my file one once i 31st may and 6 2032 so it is giving completely latest modification so we can change using touch command last access time also we can change and you want to see whatever the modifications i did using touch command you can use one command is called stat and file name you can press it will display all the statuses complete statuses file name size blocks and input output regular file all the details it is playing stat means status of the file it is about completely touch command next i am going to directories in previous video session i said files are classified into three types normal files directory files special files normal files already created using cat command that is a completed using touch completed after that i am entering into directories what is a directory directory is a location where we are storing subdirectories and the files files contains data and information directory contains subdirectories and files how to create a directory common in das operating system you can take or in the unix operating system you can take there is a equivalence commands available one by one we can try to observe ls here some files available you know already which is empty which is not empty if you want what command we are typing file asterisk we are typing you come to know that one so that put aside mkdir is nothing but make directory we can able to create empty directories we are unable to create non empty directories mkdir i am giving directory 1 and press enter ls observe dark blue dark blue represents directory no sir i want to see the symbol ls iphone capital f and you can press forward slash always indicates a directory so this is directory empty directory right clear that can i create multiple empty directories yes why not mkdir i am giving directory 2 directory 3 and directory 4 i am creating at a time three empty directories yes press enter ls observe all these are empty directories so mkdir is a command to create a single empty directory or multiple empty directories can we change here yes pwd is nothing but current working directory is a command to display current working directory so using current pwd we displayed narrates technologies is the current working directory in that directory these empty directories available i am changing cd cd is nothing but to change the directory i am changing to dir1 press enter pwd my current working directory is dir1 because i made already here cd dir1 right come back to dir1 now dir1 inside i am creating another directory that is dir5 sequential names i am providing to easy indicate um, dir5 ls now dir1 inside dir5 available that means dir empty non empty 100 percent non empty right now again cd dir5 i am saying right press pwd present working directory now root home directory red hat nares technologies dir1 dir5 it is my current location working location now actually what is my default directory location i want to see cd and tailed operator if you press and it is providing to you your current location means where exactly right now you are what is your root location red hat now cd hyphen if you press where exactly previously available current location that is dir5 so cd tilde operator indicating what is your default location means login cd hyphen indicating what is your current location so now i am entering into once again pwd right now available in the same area come back now ls 
no files, no directories because DIR5 is empty. CD space double dot. If you want to come out from working directory to the previous directory, cd double dot is you are getting error because it is a DOS command. Now, cd space double dot is the Unix command. You are getting one directory out. Type pwd now, your directory is one now. Here, dir1 available, dir5 means one directory I came back. Now, I want cd space double dot slash forward slash again double dot. So, it is come out from one directory, it is another directory means at a time it is coming out from two directories means one two. Now, it is coming to red hat press enter pwd and it is showing red hat. So, at a time a double at a time a double periods is indicates two directories means double dot. So, this is 1 period equal to 1 directory, 2 periods means 2 directories. Now, clear the screen and come to your directory and whatever you set means CD Naresh Technologies LS. How many directories empty? Yes, 3 directories empty because in DIR 1 already directory is there. What that one means? Directory 5. Now, I am going to RMDIR. What is remove? in directories or remove directories. So, it is always deleting directories. What directories means? Only empty directories. Now, I am saying DIR2. Yes, press enter successfully removed. Again, I am giving DIR, DIR, I am giving DIR2 completed already, 3 I am giving and DIR4 I am giving. Press enter, yes, successfully deleted. Now, DIR1 is there. Again, I am trying with RMDIR, DIR1 also. Observe, you are getting a message. Failed to remove directory 1 because directory is not empty. So, what it indicates? RMDIR deleting only empty directories. Unable to remove non-empty directories. That how to remove? Then we can try to observe with another command is called RM. RM is the powerful command to remove files as well as directories. How to remove files? How to remove directories? We can try to observe. First man rm press enter and it is entering into remove files directories. rm option file name come down to option area and it is providing several options. If you want to view these manual pages line by line press enter or hit the return key. You want to see page wise plus the space bar. Space bar means one page at a time will display. Observe hyphen small i, hyphen f is nothing but forcefully completed and another one is the most important one hyphen small r, hyphen capital R, hyphen hyphen recursive. It is removing directories and their contents recursively. Recursive means child to parent. Latest created file first removed, first created file last removed that is called recursive. Next one iPhone V, iPhone iPhone verbose, it indicates what exactly you are doing, means help information. Come out from there and I am creating. First ls, here several files available and non empty directory available. So, for first we are going to start with rm removing with directory rm file 1 press enter ls file 1 removed and again I am saying rm file 2 and file 3. Before removing you want a message to you iPhone i you can press. Whenever you are giving iPhone and i you are it is giving interactive mode interactive means it is asking you like this remove regular empty file and if you say y it will remove if you say n it not remove if you didn't say y or if you didn't say n both you are not giving means by default nature is don't remove still file existed so this is rm iphone i so rm i am using again verbose v explain what is being done once you press enter 
it is giving message what happened previously i removed a file but message not there now it is giving message observe now removed file 2 ls file 2 is not there so like this using rm we can remove files whenever meta characters or special characters available we can use means bunch of files we can remove at a time we can see separately in another video session that one how to implement meta characters first next one now ls now rmdir we know already what message you are going to get rmdir dir1 because non empty you are getting now rm i am using dir1 even though unable to because still dir1 exists how to remove this dir1 yes there is an option available that is recursive whenever you want to remove a directory you must use one option recursive presenter now yes the directory is not available it is completely removed the total structure this is rm we'll discuss another command cp and other command is mv cp means duplicating files copying files mv means moving means cut paste cp copy paste we can view more commands mv cp mv stands for move cp stands for copy mv means cut to paste cp means copy paste so first we'll observe mv command man mv mv rename files or move files mv option source destination there are the several options available these are the options on the screen clearly visible to you hyphen f hyphen b hyphen i interactive like this several hyphen v verbose hyphen hyphen verbose several options available one by one we'll try to observe mv before you are using mv command at least file available or not directory available or not we need to check first we'll create a file to create a file what is a command cat i am creating a file l i n u x line x what is the operator name standard output redirectional operator in the cat command video session i explained very clearly that and presenter it is line x file enter control d any number of lines you can enter there is no restriction to enter number of lines once you enter that one ls line x visible clearly to you now mv line x is the source i am changing as unix unix so i am renaming the file which file line x file i am renaming into unix ls unix available now if you are typing cat line x it says no such file or directory same you can type unix and the file will be presented on the screen observe so that means we can easily rename by using mv command it is in the current directory what is my current directory name hello in the hello directory i renamed simply now if you want to change the location so how to change one location to another location will observe unix available in my present directory hello so mv i want to give a name is called option is called hyphen v verbose verbose and i am giving unix is my source i want to take this unix source file to my home directory and home directory inside red hat directory there there is a directory available hello so i am taking my unix file to hello directory with the name of linux with the name of linux if i hit the return key unix file moving to hello directory with the name of linux press enter and clearly there is a path displayed so it is unix and move to hello directory with the name of linux we'll go back to that area cd double dot exit from the current directory cd i am giving ls so which one you need to go to hello directory cd hello directory once you are going to hello directory there means i didn't provided any new path same directory path i provided so 
without giving a single name we can provide through path also same i am going to provide like this just observe another path i am giving complete path now the previously whatever i provided now the source name is what linux available and i am moving to which directory nares tech directory so nares technologies directory available so there i am moving with the name of with the name of unix so what is the source name linux what is the destination nares tech is the folder file name is unix and present yes come out from hello directory say cd nares technologies nares technologies enter ls cat unix so current location to another location i moved by renaming the file from any location to any location you can take right now for example my file available in nares technologies but i am available in which directory red hat my default area now mv iphone v verbose and i am giving root directory home directory red hat directory and nares technologies here my file available what is my file name unix is my file my destination is home directory red hat directory and in the red hat directory hello directory is there i want to move as shell s h e l l observe this command properly iphone v means verbose it always displays what has being done so my source is unix already unix clearly visible here and and home red hat nares technologies directory unix available if i press enter unix file moving to hello directory with the name of shell yes successfully completed go and go to your hello directory and cat shell you can say successfully completed we can move from one location to another location another location to any location this is a move speciality we can move files from source to destination for example here already shell file available this shell file already another file existed in another location with the same name available in the same location you want a message you can you use iphan i iphan i is nothing but interactive it is asking do you want to overwrite we'll see that message come back cd double dot i am going to nares technologies folder nares technologies folder i am creating one file simply with the name of shell and cat shell it is shell text file shell text file right control d save and exit right cd double dot cd hello and my directory here hello directory available here my shell available already same shell file i created with the name of shell in nares technologies folder right we'll see what happens now i'm giving mv move iphan i as well as v v means verbose i means interactive i want a message iphan i path root directory home directory red hat directory and nares technologies directory and what is the file shell available that is my source that is my source again i am coming to destination home directory red hat directory hello directory means my current location and i am not giving any name i am not giving any name means whenever you are not giving any name this shell file with same name it is moving to hello directory and i am pressing enter i am showing to you observe do you want to overwrite if i say why it will be overwrite if i say n it won't be overwrite without s and n if i press enter by default no so this is iphan i meaning when two files with the same name if you are try to move it says do you want to overwrite i am saying no out so it doesn't change anything as like whatever the names you created like that only available so same command means there is another command available cp cp means duplication copy 
previously cut paste now copy paste we can create duplicate files means previously what happened mo using mo command source permanently changing as a destination in cp command source available source duplicating as destination means it is maintaining duplicate files what is cp cp stands for copy copy files as well as directories so previously also we can rename rename time also same directories also we can use same kind of syntax now i am coming out from here i want to try one by one here shell available cp shell renaming as perl not renaming exactly renaming plus duplication now two files available so which one duplicated as which one shell duplicated as perl whatever shell contains whatever shell contains same available in the perl also because these are the duplicated files and we'll try to use mkdir i am creating one directory with the name of java right and ls now this java and i am duplicating cp and java i want to duplicate as java script observe now omitting it won't agree because cp by default supports files if you want to do that you can use recursive manner iphone r now perfectly duplicated so whenever you are working with directories recursive you need to use whenever normal files doesn't require recursive now these are the files and these are the directories available java duplicated as java script and shell duplicated as perl now my current location is this one hello now i want to take my shell file to nares technologies folder how cp iphan v source home directory red hat directory and red hat directory area my my hello folder available and here there is a file available perl like this you can write or the same current location doesn't require directly means simple understanding directly because my source available here space destination red hat home directory red hat directory what is my destination nares technologies with the name of i am taking to simple name i am providing here the name is again java i said press enter now yes and go to nares technologies folder cd nares technologies folder enter and sorry and and nares technologies folder once yes ls java cat java observe the content it is linux file same whatever move command options you did same thing but move is cut paste cp is copy paste these two points you need to remember same kind of we can move to from one location to another location we can copy from one location to another location these are the mv command as well as cp command and for better understanding purpose more commands we can see in another video session thank you try to log in youtube.com/nareshit catch me for more videos in that